All right, man, we back. Once again, it's Goodfellas Sports TV. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. So, yeah, what's going on in the NBA? I don't care about the playoffs. We already know it's designed for LeBron to win. But some interesting developments come through uh, the last couple days. Tyron Lu and Mike D'Antoni are the two final candidates for the Philadelphia 76ers job. I know at one point Tyron Lu would sound like he was going to close a deal. He said he wanted $7 million. And I don't know if that opened the door for Dan Tony to come in there, but um, but now something that's going on that's very very interesting is that the 76ers are considering hiring Mike Dan Tony if he can bring well they believe he can lure James Harden to Philadelphia, so they believe that Mike Dan Tony can facilitate a trade to get Harden to Philly, and you know at the end of the day James Harden says he wanted Mike Dan Tony back, and Dan Tony quit before they can fire him or release him from his job. So he was, you know, supposed to be a high candidate for the Indiana Pacers job. I know a lot of us was angry that Nate McMillan got fired. And Nate McMillan actually done a wonderful job there. But, you know, at the end of the day, then, you know, if he could bring James Harden to Philadelphia in his style of play, uh, would that make Philly dangerous in the East? It's hard because, you know, Miami going to get better regardless. With or without Giannis, they're going to bring on Oladipo. Boston going to get better regardless because they got expiring contract of Gordon Hayward and they defend. Okay. The thing about Philly is James Harden. He can't, he can't make James, he can't make Joel and Beeb get healthy. And also he can't make Ben Simmons shoot. So I'm thinking they're going to try to pull off a deal with Tobias Harris, Josh Richardson, and a bunch of draft picks and probably try to get them down there. That's my problem is that it's a couple issues if they do keep Ben Simmons uh, uh, and Joel Embiid there. There's two glaring issues here. Ben Simmons can't shoot the ball. He works in Westbrook at shooting it. They would have to deal Ben Simmons because Dan Tony couldn't get Ben Simmons to work. He can't make no adjustments. Two, he couldn't get nothing out of Clint Capella. Mike Dan Tony only, get, only was good with Amari Stoudemire because Stoudemire was a highly athletic guy and him and Steve Nash worked in the pick and roll. Can Joel and Beeb lose enough weight? And congratulations to him, he just had a baby. I don't know if it, I think it was a son. You know, can Joel and Beeb get his weight down enough to be agile like a Mark Stoudemire in the pick and roll? And also, he can pop, but I don't think Joel and Beeb can physically get in good enough shape to be a Mark Stoudemire. He's going to be more like Clint Capella. Even though he can shoot a three, I think it's the worst fit for Joel and Beeb and Ben Simmons and Mike D'Antoni. You know what I'm saying? I think it's the absolute worst fit for them. Because then what you're going to do is you're going to have Joel standing out there shooting threes. You're going to have Ben Simmons out there not looking like Westbrook. I think not. Even if it, even if it meant bringing James Harden here. I can bring James Harden here without Mike D'Antoni. You know, and that's just how I'm feeling. I can bring him there without Mike. So, I mean... Ben Simmons, so my whole thing is this. If you're keeping Ben Simmons in this deal, which most people believe they are, um, we're, I mean, James Harden don't like playing without the ball. So Ben Simmons need the ball to be effective. Can you, can you make it work with, ben and, Joel, with uh, ben and James Harden? I think not. I think you would have to find a home for Ben Simmons. You have to, t you have to completely restructure this roster. I think Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid, you got to trade them. Maybe you could send Ben Simmons up to, 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 to Milwaukee and get Giannis. I don't know. I, I just don't see it. It's just too many, too many barricades in that, in that working. Mike D'Antoni ain't changed his system ever. So you, you, it's going to look like Ben and Russell. The difference is Russell can hit an occasional three-pointer. He, he'll shoot one. Russell can hit a mid-range. Ben Simmons can't hit nothing outside the paint. Ooh, they could put Ben at power forward. When Carmelo was a power forward, it still didn't work. And he had a mid-range jumper, so I don't, I don't see it being a good, a good fit. That means you would have to get rid of all the lab roster. I think Al Horford will work. I think it would be a good move. The one guy you probably can keep is Al Horford. You can keep Tobias and Josh Richardson, but if you're trying to uh, keep Ben Simmons, you would have to get rid of them too. And then you would eventually have to trade Ben Simmons. You know, would you try to trade Ben Simmons for – you know, for a Karis Avert type of uh, Spencer deal with he type of deal. 
Could you trade Ben Simmons? I don't know what you can do with Ben. You have to move Ben and Joel Embiid. You know, in the, in the pace they play, Joel Embiid too out of shape to get up and down the court like that. He's not going to lose the weight and keep it off. So you have to trade. You have to probably get Richardson to buy share some picks to bring Harden there. Then you have to flip Ben Simmons somewhere. You know, maybe you can get De'Aaron Fox. But then again, with, with James Harden, you don't, you need a, you need a, he a point guard. So you need a shooting guard. So, you know, but you look at Buddy Hill, uh, Boyanovich, the one from Sacramento, he's a free agent. Um, you know, it, it depends. I mean, it, it all depends. Maybe you try to do a Paul George for, and, and, you know, they don't have no draft picks. So you probably do Paul George, Montrez Hero for Joel and B. I mean, probably try to get Joel and B to the Clippers. No, I mean I I would I would entertain that if on both sides. You know. And you able to keep Lewis, you get rid of Paul, you know, then you buy well, who gonna be that wing scorer? You just gotta figure that out. Paul wasn't scoring it in no no time for real. He wasn't showing up at all. So there's different trades out there for them for them to be had, you know. But I think they would have to totally restructure that raw. Everybody would have to go. I think Al Horford would be the one guy that can stay. I think Tobias and Josh Richardson work in the system, to be honest. But I, I think you would have to give them up to get James Harden with draft picks. So, um, but if you say putting Ben Simmons, James Harden out there with Joel and B, and you talking about it, it working, I don't see D'Antoni after all these years being in the league making the making the proper adjustments to make that work. Joel and B playing at that pace, he ain't gonna play fifty games. Want to bet your pretty penny on it? I don't see Joel and B playing 50 games. Ben Simmons at that pace, it'll work. With him, with him, you know, in the pick and roll, but James Harden not gonna be sitting. He 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 was mad that he didn't want Chris Paul to be to control the rock. So that's a bad move by them. You know, and I and I do eventually think, even if they don't sign Dan Tony, they need they need to break that up, to be honest. Or or this can be the last year. Where you got to sell Joel Embiid, you got to pull a Pat Riley. You got to come in at 250 pounds. You know, Ben Simmons, you better shoot the rock. Because right now, you probably can get Ben Simmons for De'Aaron Fox. And you can throw in a first-round draft pick or something. You might can get by with that. Maybe you can, maybe you can throw Ben Simmons and, and, and somebody else in there. You know, I don't know who else. Maybe De'Aaron Fox would be perfect for, for Joel Embiid. But in the pick and roll... If Joel lose some weight, you know, if you can get rid of uh, uh, Richardson or, or Tobias Harris, maybe you can package them to get James Harden. But I still wouldn't want D'Antoni coaching the team. I would probably look for Mark Jackson. I would probably look at Tyron Lue to make that work. So if I can actually be Philly, I would try to move Ben Simmons in or something else to get De'Aaron and sign and trade because De'Aaron got a contract coming up. De'Aaron... Then I try to move a trade where I get some draft picks and I move Tobias and, and Josh Richardson and maybe Al Horford to Houston and some type of deal and, and, and bring James Harden. I bring Fox, Harden, keep Joel and Embiid, have him lose some weight. You know what I'm saying? And I'd probably rock out with that. But Jan, but Mike D'Antoni wouldn't be my coach. But, you know, should I should they give Ben Simmons and, and Joel Embiid another shot? I mean... In actuality, in reality, yeah, I mean, I, I would think about it, but not with D'Antoni, Ben Simmons. I mean, my, Ben Simmons just can't shoot. And then Joel Embiid just can't get his weight down. That's the hard thing about it. How you not be able to get your weight down? You're young. Get down to 250. But if you tell me in, a, in an ideal work, world, how does that system work with D'Antoni, you know, it works like this. They trade Richardson, Tobias, and whatever else to bring Harden here. I would have to move Ben Simmons. I would try to make move him. If I couldn't get Fox, now I have some other guys you probably could think of too. I try to move him and get maybe Victor Oladipo and, and play on side of him. Or I try to move him and get Spencer Dibwitty. But maybe Oladipo would be a good move because he can defend and Harden can still be a point guard. Okay, let's say I get Oladipo how, somehow, some way. I put all the depot, get some picks from Pacers, from the Pacers. I get all the depot. I put him with Harden in the backcourt. Joel and B. If he don't lose the weight, I gotta move him. Maybe I move him to Philly. I mean, maybe I move him to the Clippers. 
I say give me Harold, Paul George, you know, and that's all they really got to give. I bring Paul here, so I got Paul, Oladipo, I got Paul, Paul George, Oladipo, James Harden, and Trez in the middle. And I still got Horford as a, as a center as well, too. So that's, that's just personally how I look at it. I don't know if the salaries match up or this, that, and the third, but that's what I would personally do. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Check out the NBA Talk playlist. Don't forget you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Can reach out if you got business questions, crowd response, your video quests. Keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation to the channel. Cash app CJGood313. Appreciate the love support. We gone.